so we've just got back from our seven day cruise. We're home in New Zealand. It was such a nice trip and it's nice to be home, but we didn't so nice. really film as much on board as maybe we had intended. No, the cruise was a week long and I think we ended up with two videos. Mm. So we did film a ship tour and also um, our time Rico. in Puerto Rico, which we really loved. But our itinerary changed quite a few times and things didn't really go to plan. So we ended up well, it was more about family time really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was more about just relaxing and family. That's our excuse anyway. So we were <laughs> going to film, we, had, we wanted to film a video very similar to what we did on our Princess Cruise in Europe about the food. Because it's one of the biggest questions we mm. had. It's a very common question that we get in our inbox. Um, but because of that relaxing and not seeing family in a year and, and kind of just cruising and drinking, we ended <laughs> up with a bunch of very random clips of us eating very random food. Things that I was craving like the hot dogs. <laughs> Force fun in the main dining hall. I'm getting really distracted on the boardwalk. <laughs> we also got lost a good few times. I went to go up and Stacey's like, isn't it down? And Dane awkwardly filming in the buffet. Chicken luxa soup. But rather than leave all of that footage on the editing floor, essentially, which is what we were tempted to do, we thought we'd still answer the question about what is the food like and how does it kind of work with costs and things like that. So the majority of the food on board was, fr well it feels free, you've kind of, we've you've prepaid paid. for it essentially, but everybody gets the majority of the food for free and there is so many options. And depending on where we ate, it was either surprisingly good or... Um, surprisingly bad. Yeah, just, just <laughs> relatively average, very normal food. Yeah, but there are loads of um, casual dining mm. options and most of them are open all day, every day. But the one that caught our eye first was called the Dog House. We're on the way to get hot dogs, but even though it's been... Even though it's been a couple of days, we're still getting lost going up and down the stairs. I went to go up and Stacey's like, isn't it down? And then we had to stop and have a think about it and go, where was it in relation to the something else, or the next thing? And we think we've got to figure it figured out. But it's our rule that we always take the stairs. So when we get something wrong, <laughs> it's a big commitment to go like another 10 floors <laughs> up or down. So we got a pretty plain style hot dog here, but Stace is now adding in all the different sauces. I'm going for all three. <laughs> I'm going to do all three as well. Are you really? Yeah. Is that weird? No, that's the way to go. All right, we're on the boardwalk. That's the boardwalk dog house. <laughs> You're not allowed to be in what's essentially America and ask for a hot dog, like how we would say in our Kiwi accent. I, I'm very interested to try what looks like just a, a New Zealand style sausage in a bun covered in a bunch of condiments. <laughs> it was free though. The drinks however were, yeah, you, it's about 18 US dollars by the time they include the tip for, for two drinks. It was like nine US per drink. There's nothing insightful here. This is just a really delicious hot dog. And I like it. Like, there's not really much more I could say. It's kind of exactly what I expected it to be. It's free, we grabbed it, we've just got a nice view here. We're watching fails on these <laughs> big screens here. So I'm happy with that. So the most common place to eat was definitely the buffet. And we can tell that because of the amount of people that were generally in there at most times. Because so it's open from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. So but it's yeah, always it can busy. just be very busy. Constantly busy. But we found the best time to eat was when it just reopened. So mm. they've got um, two different sides. They've got the port, port and the starboard, and the starboard. restaurants. Yeah. Sometimes they open at the, some t the same time. Sometimes they open one while they're preparing the other. Yeah. But yeah, we, we decided it was best to kind of like get in there right as it opened because that's when you get the freshest food as well. Yeah. It also means that because it was so busy that it's quite awkward to film in there. So... <laughs> I don't want to do I it. I don't want to film. I wanted to show what the what the food looked like, so we tried to get in like super early, and then I'm like, oh, this is the salad, and we're just hey, trying to like quickly pasta, get it done. But salad. we wanted to show it. We've got into the buffet early so that we can beat the crowds. This is the thirst station, so I think all of that is free, as is all of the coffee and stuff here. What have we got? Sweet and light bites. This is the fruit, bean salad, green salad, penne pasta. And this is all the hot dog, burger buns beef patties, sauerkraut, turkey burgers, chips, and everything you need down there. Chicken luxa soup. Oh, there's a lot of international stuff as well. There's an Irish lamb stew, apparently. Got a beetroot salad. There's always a pasta stock. 
It looks like there's loads of options here, along with heaps of salad, more uh, rice dishes and stuff like that. We've got some more stews, some fried chicken. So as you can see, there was quite a good selection mm. in there and I probably still didn't film all of it either because people started cramming in a lot. Yeah. But I think the fact that we were, uh, what, we were a group of eight. So finding a table was sometimes tricky, but going to the buffet was a winner because they just had so many options that what I wanted to eat versus what my parents wanted to eat versus what, what like eat. what you wanted to eat or like what the kids wanted to eat is so different. But it's just it, it was like a one like a one a tick one box. stop shop for everybody, <laughs> sure. and it was nice, it was good. But um, because of the you know fast turnover and everything, it's in bulk. It's in bulk. Mm. It's not incredible, but it was a good option for a lot of people. A massive step up from the buffet was the main dining hall and we ate there every every single night yeah, all did, dinners yeah. we ate there um and it was cool because they had a menu that changed nightly but also they kept some classics on mm. and one of the classics on yeah the, luckily for us we found the apple pie on the first night and that, pretty... <laughs> that was on the classics menu and it was oh so good you have set dining times a la carte menu you can pick what you want it's a lot more formal uh, it's a little bit of a dressier environment but very much more like a restaurant yeah, floating like at made sea. to order yeah yeah it was also quite nice because we had the set time every night we also had the same waiters so we'd come in and they were so good i don't know how they remembered but they remembered names what you mm. liked they were so good with the kids and it was like really nice that the waiters were also like celebrated yeah they they had a uh, two or three times where they kind of brought out all of the all staff. staff someone's on a microphone <laughs> hey it was like a big party <laughs> it's kind of funny like four celebrations but it was quite fun <laughs> What are you doing? Thank you. So when it comes to coffee, there's a couple of different options. There's a Starbucks just behind us, which is a paid option for everybody. Then there's obviously if you buy the drinks package, you've got a whole bunch of different options, but we didn't get that. So you can come to the cafe like we have and you can buy coffees or they have, um, what's it called? Like filtered, yeah, filtered stuff Filtered stuff as well. But to be honest, the, um, the ones that you buy are obviously better. Although you pay for the coffees, I have to admit they are very nice and they have this cabinet back here that is just full of treats and there's uh, bran muffins and can you remember there was like Donuts, croissants? And croissants and cookies and all sorts of temptations. The temptations on a ship like this are just so strong. So if we'd bought the drinks package, this category would probably play out very differently. But because we just stayed um, at an all-inclusive mm. resort in Cancun, uh, we kind of weighed up the options and realized that we probably wouldn't get the value out of it. No. Plus, our livers were kind of at the point of like, hey, can you just give us a bit of a rest? I think that was definitely needed. It was more about the relaxing, but there is the option to buy a drinks package, which does make it all inclusive on mm. top. And basically, we still realized that we were going to have to really force ourselves to drink and sit like eight or nine cocktails a day for seven days. Drink. Yeah, and we don't really drink cocktails. Not so. that much, yeah. no. If there was like a one day package, 100%, we would have done that they a couple of times. They should definitely bring out yeah. something like that. I think um, that's a good idea. Yeah, so we just kind of bought drinks when we wanted to, mm. but the downside of doing it that way is you actually have to like register how much you're spending and they also slap on like an 18% gratuity on top of it. Yeah. So you are you are kind of thinking about it, it's not as relaxing. So apart from the options that we've already shown because we were a little bit lazy with our filming, uh, there are food and drink options literally everywhere you look. So we're somewhere in the middle of the Caribbean Sea right now and I think that this is... Do you think this is the bluest water we've ever seen? We say that. I know we, I know we, do, we do say that a lot, but it is just such like a... It's a deep blue. It's a deep, deep blue, and we've got a mixture of the shadow and the sun here, so like when you see the bits in the sun, you can almost see the rays of the sunshine like through the blue. Anyway, we're here for the cookie. These are kind of everywhere on the ship. We managed to pick a chocolate chip one that's also got white and... Um, Maybe dark and milk? I might have made that up, but it's a triple chocolate cookie. <laughs> Yum! 
looks like a subway. I was just about to say that. You stole my words. Heaps of chocolate there, more than what you get at Subway, but it's like chewy. It's like chewy and sticky, not crunchy. And there's like loads of chocolate in there. Yeah, I think if you if you study the the cruise video that we did, the uh, the tour in the background, there's just restaurants and bars and food and snacks and grab as you go kind of places. Like there was wraps in the random cafes that you could just ask for and you get one. There was hot meat inside buns and salads in other random spots. Cookies and donuts and ice cream. <laughs> We were supposed to talk about frozen yogurt, but uh, it melted so fast and now it's gone. <laughs> so, um, what can I tell you? Nice that it's frozen yogurt and not just ice cream, because I couldn't tell you the last time I had frozen yogurt. Nice and refreshing on a hot day, but also slightly stressful. <laughs> because as soon as I got it, it just started melting all down my hand. But it tastes good. And the most important one of them all, pizza. <laughs> but we literally just spent the entire week overindulging, spending time with my family, uh, playing bingo, and just explore, like looking over the edge, I love it. Yeah, and just going to shows, and there was something on every day, all day, every day. No, I realise cruising isn't for everybody, and some people would get bored or don't think that it's like enough of a taste of a place. But Puerto Rico, for example, was somewhere that was never on the list for us. Well, maybe never considered, sorry. And yeah. instantly we're like, we have to go back because we got that A little snippet. taste of it, yeah. Yeah, so it was really cool. I'm genuinely looking forward to taking another cruise somewhere else. Do you Me feel too. the same? Yeah.